last female presenter of today is Nicole Huyge from Boo Book and uh, Nicole is going to talk about her journey in data science. Uh, she started at Procter & Gamble in 1995 and now she's running her own business in data science. Don't worry, Nicole is not going to read her CV out loud, but um, she will tell her story of how analytics have changed in the past 20 years in a very anecdotal way. I'm curious to hear about it, Nicole. Thank, thank you. I was going to start with saying I have some good news and bad news. Um, the bad news, I think Philippe already mentioned, is that there's one more speaker behind me uh, before um, there is a break. And the good news, uh, um, Nela already mentioned, I'm the last female speaker, speaker and then it's done. Um, so I had a chat with Philippe a while ago about how I've seen data science changing over the last 20 years. And he said, well, that's an interesting story. So here it is. So let's go back to 1995 when I graduated at, as a master's in applied statistics from the University of California. And why California? Well, at that time, 1995 in Belgium, there was no master's degree in advanced analytics or statistics because there was just no interest whatsoever. So I had the pleasure to California, which of course I enjoyed a lot. So I came back and I started my career at Procter & Gamble where I was an analyst supporting marketeers with getting more value out of data. And I see you thinking, wow, that must have been a great job because they had tons of data. And that's indeed, I had a lot of data, but still it was a very, uh, very much a challenge. I remember sitting in a room full of marketeers and the last thing they had on their mind was listening to a female analyst. But I'm sure that has changed. Still, after a few years, I thought I'd explore some new avenue and I moved to London where I worked five years in the market research industry, being a statistical analyst, working on a variety of marketing issues. Again, a wonderful experience. And in 2002, I moved back to Belgium for personal reasons and I had two options. I could either look for a job or I could start my own business. So I thought, you know, with, with, with some instrumental blood I have, let's uh, explore the latter and see if I can start my own business. And I. I explored some options and I talked to some um, potential companies to see if there would be some interest in, in statistical services because that, that's what I wanted to do, you know, offer some, some expertise in data and analytics. And, and companies were looking at me, statistics, data, value, what are you talking about? Still, I was very stubborn and I thought, I'll try it. So in 2002, I started uh, Solutions 2, offering statistical services. We are now 2016, we are a team of about 20 people, 20 data scientists spread over two, uh, two companies or two offices, one near Ghent and uh, one in London. And in the beginning, we, um, we said, you know, we're, we're in statistics. These days, we don't use the word statistics anymore. We moved to advanced analytics because that sounded much better. These days, we say, you know, we're in data science. Of course, we do exactly the same. It's just the name that's changing. Uh, still, all very interesting. So a few months ago, we thought, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll change our name. So we're not called Solutions 2 anymore, we're, we're called Bubuk. And you're probably wondering, why change the name of a winning team? Well, the reason for that is because a lot have changed around us. Uh, we know that uh, big data has come, come along, and uh, I must say, I do love big data. I'm not sure if I'm the only one, because I know lots of people are saying big data. We don't want to hear that word anymore, but I still love it. And the reason why I love it is because finally people or companies know now that there is some value in data. But for us um, at Solution Sue or now Bubuk, it has had some impact. Um, when we started in, in 2002 and even um, a few years ago, when people asked me, who are your competitors? I was looking, competitors? What or that? Because in other words, just no people interested in data and analytics. Now that environment has changed. I mean, there are so many competitors now. Everyone wants to move in, in analytics, in data science. So we had to you know, stand out more, you know, shout to the crowd. And hence the change to, uh, to Bubuk. And you're probably all wondering what Bubuk is. And in fact, we have a stand outside and we had lots of people coming along purely asking what Bubuk is all, all about. And um, Bubuk is actually a small owl, an Australian owl. And uh, an owl is a, is a symbol of wisdom. And what we say at Bubuk is that we discover the wisdom. We get the wisdom out of value. And you're probably wondering now, you know, why am I telling you that story? You know, what's the value for you? Well. When I think about it, and I have been thinking quite a bit about what has changed or what has stayed the same versus um, 
20 years or 12 years ago when I started Solutions 2 and where we are now. And I do see a lot of parallel, especially looking at uh, or thinking about the value um, of an analyst. So in 2002, when I started uh, my own company, I really had to prove the value of an analyst. And I think that's still the same. Uh, I know there is a shortage or people t talk about the shortage of, of data scientists which it probably is, but I don't think it will stay for that long because there's a lot of platforms, uh, if you think about Watson and Toomey, great software platforms that do wonderful things that will take over some of our jobs. So I think some of the data scientists probably will disappear because platforms will, will take it over. But I think as analysts, we still have a very, very bright future ahead of us if we can um, get some extra skills, if we can build some business understanding, some data visualization, some visual storytelling skills, if we can add that to our very strong analytical skills, I think we have an extremely bright future ahead of us and we can grow further. Enjoy the rest of your evening.